Hello guys and welcome to another Star Journal episode. Now, unfortunately as you can see this is not the world we left off on, left off on but as you can predict I went inactive and I'm sorry for that guys but you know university got busy, I got bored, um, those kind of things and we are back here in a fresh new Star Journal because luckily enough for me I opened up this game I actually was still in the last world the game had not kicked me off yet which I was pretty surprised by. And then I found that uh, um, I was actually still 61st first even, which of course surprised me. But of course, there was like four years left in the world. There was zero chance I would finish in a credit spot. So basically here I am in a new world. Um, and hopefully this will be interesting now. I have I've already, as you can see, done quite a bit and I've made an attempt to record but what happened was the game stopped work, uh, was my recording got interrupted in the middle because I accidentally pressed the pause button and did not notice, like the genius I am. So basically, that video ended up five minutes long and cut off in the middle, and it was just, okay, let's scrap it, let's try again. So here we are. Now, I'm kind of sad I lost that recording, actually, because I was talking about a bunch of interesting stuff. And without the train of thought to start me off, I'm never going to get back to something that interesting. But basically, um, I was talking about finishing position in this world. I know I cannot win um, as long as there is a jammer, which is unfortunate. But that's not really going to be my goal um, in this playthrough. My goal in this playthrough is just going to be to finish as high as I can, hopefully top 10. Um and to not go inactive. Now, as you know, I have a problem with going inactive, so how am I gonna stop? Well, my plan is to kind of hard restrict the amount of routes I can make. Now, how am I gonna do that? I have no idea. First of all, if I get any competition route whatsoever, like any set of my stopover, I will just delete it. I won't even think about it. Um, that way, you know, I'll probably be losing, you know, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 routes every few days, basically. Like, once I am up to 10, 2 or 3,000 routes, I'll be losing a few a few routes every day, which will help me, you know, not end up with so many routes. Um, another thing I can do is to sl be more selective about the routes I make. And, of course, I'll only be making stopovers, so, you know, when I... So like 2,000 routes is 1,000 planes. And really the main thing I need to restrict is the number of planes I have. And it's not that I don't want more planes. Of course I want more planes. The more planes you have, the more money you can possibly be making in this game. Um, but having that many planes is simply impossible. Um, because I cannot, requ I cannot request fast enough to, to utilize more planes. To, to utilize more planes while you know, maintaining the company I've already built up. Now, the reason for that is, of course, um, when your planes get old, they need main like the maintenance cost goes up and that kind of shit, and they'll eventually crash, I think, when the planes are 25 years old, inevitably, which is an inaccurate mechanic, and it's pretty bad. Um, but, of course, there's nothing I can do about that, so I'll just have to really deal with it. Now, I'm not sure if what's causing my crash is me my recording to pause is me resetting the world but i'm gonna try that right now so i'm gonna pause the recording okay so as you can see i had an interruption there and the reason for that is as you could see previously that my slot requests were kind of glitched like they said plus 20 even though they should have completed and from my knowledge the only way to fix that is to interrupt the world so i just restarted the game i didn't really um i didn't really want to show my phone's like background and shit because I don't know I think I've been doing that a bit too much and there's you know some information that I might not want other people to see um in previous videos so from now I'm gonna try and keep you know my recording strictly in game which I was not too worried about that in prior recordings but from now on I think I will be I think it's a bit better for privacy's sake um but anyways what was I doing what was I doing? I was, oh yeah, happily slot request and explaining something. I don't really remember what that is. But, oh yeah, why do I want to restrict the number of planes I can have? Is so that I can possibly, you know, keep up. 
with my plane request. Now, I really, really do wish I had the instant plane request, but I'm not even sure if I do. Um, because, as you might or might not know, if you spend $400 in this game, your slot requests and airplane requests become instant regardless um, of paying credits. Basically, you don't have to play credits to have instant slot requests. And to me, that just sounds so infinitely useful. But I don't know if it ruined the game for me. Um, because my company would get consistently too big too quickly. Now, what I mean by that is I'm not sure that if I could do that, if I wouldn't always be first. And that sounds really, really cocky. But I think it's the truth because if you guys don't know, like, I've only ever completed three th three Air Tycoon Online 2 games, which is really, or three Air Tycoon games in general, which is really, really low. But all three of those times were top 10 finishes, where at one point or another, I was first place in that world, but only dropped down because, um, only dropped down because I got bored, basically, and stopped playing the game enough to, to keep my slot requests and stuff available. Now... Oh, there's already Belfast. Fuck, I pressed slots there for nothing, I guess. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, basically, the only reason why I'm ever not first is because I stopped playing the game and people overtake me when my planes get old and stuff like that. And, of course, whenever you are playing and making and opening new routes, your value is going up. Um, another thing that I kind of don't like about this game is as you know, the amount of money you get per turn, it basically dictates the amount of amount you can increase your profit every turn, and that is an exponential curve. So you're basically increasing, you know, maybe like three percent of your value every turn. Like once you max out your tax, of course, then um, as long as you maintain the the amount you're like the percent you're profiting by then you'll always be increasing your value at 3% of your value per turn, like, like assuming you're managing to use all your money for new airplanes and stuff like that. Um, but it's simply not possible to do so because eventually you're going to reach a point where no matter what airplane you buy, well, like, not no matter what airplane you buy, but um, when you're buying airplanes that you want to use, even if you were to request every 30 minutes, you still wouldn't be able to keep up. Like, you would be getting money faster than you can possibly spend. Like, for example, it's quite easy to get your profit up to two billion a turn, uh, like two billion k, I think, a turn. No, it's two million k. Yeah, so at two million k a turn, there's literally like. If you st unless you're buying large aircraft, like say a 767, then you can do, like you would only have to do two slot requests per turn to manage, or two plane requests per turn to, to you know, spend all that money. But for any smaller planes, it's just not possible. Um, if you go to sleep, when you wake back up, you'll have to request literally every 30 minutes to keep up. It's literally not possible to keep expanding your company in this game. And if I was able to do that, I'm pretty sure I would never lose. Like, I'm not certain for certain, but if I wanted to, like, this is a very cookie-cutter game in the fact that you don't have to adapt your strategy much from one world to the next. So once you figure out the best best strategy, which I'm almost certain I have, um, there's really nowhere to go from there, basically. Uh, oh, LAX has no slots. Oh, no. Oh, man. Like, a lot of the best routes from Los Angeles and stuff like that is not are not taken yet. Now, of course, these are still nationally owned airports, so that's fantastic. Um, that means when I, up, when I like, use up all the slot requests, they'll upgrade in a turn or two. I won't have to wait long, which is lovely. Um, one of my least favorite things is player-owned airports. Sometimes, you know, they're not on. It'll take a day, two days, three days, whatever, for them to bother to get around to upgrading the airport. And, ooh, it is annoying. Even more annoying is when people deliberately choose to not air upgrade airports at all to lock you out of them. That's 
of course, even more annoying, but it's somewhat rare, especially in the Star Channel loss in the last game. It didn't seem to happen. Um, there's, like, one guy who was, like, trying to lock people out of airports, but he only managed to do a couple. I think he only had London and Paris, which, of course, is really freaking annoying, is to have, like, to have limited slots in London and Paris. But that's just two cities, which most of the routes were taken to anyway. As you can see, I, I myself already, I already occupied, like, what is this, 500 slots to London. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's only going to increase from here, guys. That's Trust me. London is the best. Um, it's not the best because it's, like, I don't know, British or, like, the numbers, like, the business and tour on it are so great. It's only the best because it's in the middle of the world. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you were to make the business and tour if you're to average the business and tour of all the cities in the world and find the center point that you know sent that like the center of like mass so to say i don't know what center of business and tour of the world i think london would be one of the largest cities close to it like of course amsterdam and paris are geographically really really close to london but they're not nearly as big as it's which is what makes london feel like it's really the, like big central thing in the world um, basically London is not far from every other major city in the world I'm pretty sure starting from London um, you can fly to every other major city in the world directly bar Sydney um, so yeah it really is very very close to a lot of the other cities um, Meanwhile, you, like, pick another big city, Los Angeles. There's cities which are very, very, like, too far to possibly think of flying directly to Kuala Lumpur, um, uh, Mumbai, like, Cairo. Those, not Cairo, but, like, a lot of cities get ridiculously far from other cities, but not to London. London really is in the middle, with the exception of Sydney. Um, so, sorry to all you Aussies out there, but you're just far away from everything else that means anything in the world. Um... What was I doing? I was finishing up my slot request here. Now, of course, I still have 10 unused planes. Holy crap. I've, like, done almost every route in London, and I still haven't. Not every, like, of course. Like, there's big, obvious routes I haven't done to London. But I'm out of slots, basically, so I'm not going to be able to do any more in a bit. Um, holy crap. Did that slot request finish, by the way? Nope. Nope, it didn't. Um... Yeah. Well, uh, maybe I could consider doing something else. Let's do some New York, I guess. Um, I don't really like doing New York second. I prefer doing LA second because I'm just doing it in order of basically large cities. The order, of course, doesn't matter. But, I mean, usually you don't even finish like three or four of these cities before you hit higher level, in which case it becomes too slow to play the game, basically. Like, once I hit level four, like, what's the point of even playing? Like, it's so so slow at level four and five um you basically have to do long range routes so you're not bored to death but now what i can do actually is i can no okay this is a dilemma i do not know whether it's worth keeping my value down now um like if i use if i use those leases of mine what i can do is i can keep my value low which will prevent me from leveling up, which means I can make more short-range routes before I switch to long-range routes. Or I could not use them, and then have, when 747s come out, a larger percent of my planes as leased aircraft, or as, as owned aircraft, I'll be able to lease more 747s, which is, of course, an advantage, because 747s are overpowered. So... Yeah, basically, I have to make that decision now, and it will have a decent effect on the next few days of this game. Um, but I guess I'm not going to make that ep decision right now, um, because I know this episode's getting pretty long, and I'm getting pretty bored of talking, and I'm getting pretty hungry. I kind of want to go eat something. So I'm just going to make this route, and then that's going to be it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This I'll hopefully fin finish this world. I'm, once again, no guarantees, but... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.